In this problem, we're going to evaluate the sine inverse of the sine of 3 pi over 2 solution. So in problems like this, you start from working from the inside out. So let's start by working out the sine of 3 pi over 2. So to do this, think about the unit circle. So on the unit circle, every ordered pair has the form cosine theta, comma sine theta. And let's label the angles. So we have 0, we have pi over 2, we have pi, and then here we have 3 pi over 2. So here the ordered pair on the unit circle would be 0, comma, negative 1. So that means that sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. So we can write this as the sine inverse of negative 1. Okay. What I like to do next is I like to give this a name. So we'll call it y. So y is equal to the sine inverse of negative 1. So now we can get rid of the inverse notation. How? Well, intuitively, the inverse function takes negative 1 and gives you y. That means the sine function has to undo that. So the sine function takes y and gives you back negative 1. Now let's specify where y is. So y is equal to the inverse sine. So y is in the range of inverse sine, which is going to be negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So now we're looking for the value of y such that the sine of y is equal to negative 1 in this range. Well, that would be negative pi over 2. This angle here is also known as negative pi over 2. So the ang angle here, and the answer in particular, is negative pi over 2. And that's the final answer. This is a really nice example because notice it's really tempting to just cancel here, but if you would have done that, um, you would have gotten the wrong answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.